This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Thanks for watching. Shalom Ubracha, guys. How are you doing? I hope things are well by you in your places. I'm uh, trying for a long, long time to to deliver a certain uh, idea to bring out to the world a certain understanding something very deep very um, meaningful that I'm that I'm looking at that I'm observing that been revealed to me in many ways and aspects how are you Melissa it's good to have you with us oh Victor Daniel how are you so much fun to be surrounded by angels such a great feeling to know that you're not alone how amazing it is that you can uh, that you can be in your uh, in your hometown in your house shalom aleichem dear levi welcome to the to the live broadcast on facebook it's so fun that uh, you can be in your place Oh, hello, Rachel. How are you? So many friends are joining us, Baruch Hashem. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you. Hello, Mark. Everyone are here. Thank you for joining. I'm just having so much fun seeing all the names. All right, I apologize. Let's move on. Um, so it's so much fun that you're able to sit in your own backyard and just like being in touch with your uh, with your most uh, closest circle of uh, of friends shalom sharon shalom aleichem how are you everyone are doing so great so bo hashem maybe we need to you know we have this um this uh, questions and answers group it's a very fun thing the it's a kind of a service that um, whatever I don't know how to define it but it's a uh, like all the guys that are supporting our um, our project on on monthly basis thank you so much also for you Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach thank you so all the guys that are that are supporting the the project you know, I'm saying the project. The project is, uh, it's true, there, there is a team, but uh, like all this team are, are guys that are very dedicated to, to me and to, and to my idea and to my vision. So kind of the project is, uh, is me, is, uh, is my family and, and I that are going out to the world and just knocking on doors doors of of souls and spirits so all the guys that are supporting our work means helping my family and i to continue our work and and sharing the light to the world and um, so every week we have this um, a closed group session that we're talking on a zoom program uh, it, uh, the Zoom program is an uh, is a platform that you can have multiply multiple um, screens uh, in the same time. It's like a, it's like Skype. It's like FaceTime, but 20, 30, 40, 50 people, like as many as 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 you want to have, and they're all like together. And people are asking questions and I'm answering live and like we're talking it's it's a, a lot of fun so maybe I don't know we need to do something like that it can be very much it's a joyful thing it's a lot of fun to to be able to to meet up with your with your friends with your with people that cares about you that that understands you it's something very beautiful so long story short 
trying to explain something for a long long time and I'm uh, kind of struggling because the picture is so w wide so large the things that um, yes I can give details on how to join the zoom group and um, so you need to contact us at uh, info at emuna.com emuna we're writing it always with an H you know why that you're not gonna forget Hashem there are many people that claims to have emuna but they don't believe in Hashem like for sure they they follow foreign gods foreign idols like they they worship themselves mostly so we have emuna in Hashem so it's emuna with the with an H so you write an email to info at emuna.com and you just say over there in that email I want to join the zoom class the questions and answers and um, so no no it's all good we're friends we're very we're very happy I'm happy to like I said it's a uh, it's fun for me to be in touch with all you guys and to be able to talk and and uh, I, I want to comment on that comment um, you wrote I understand your English perfect I'll tell you why it's something very funny I once said in the class that uh, my English is horrible and uh, someone told me your English is perfect so I told him what do you mean how can you say my English is perfect like I know I have many mistakes in my English so he said what's the purpose of language the purpose of language is that people will communicate and understand each other so if in the end of the day you like we can understand you so it's perfect that like that's the that was the goal like why you learn the language that people will understand you now if people understand you so that's it it's perfect so Baruch Hashem so it's because my English is so perfect that's why uh, why you understand <laughs> so Baruch Hashem life is good so I wanted to say that Baruch Hashem there is such a great great thing that I'm trying to describe and to explain and I'm finding it so hard like every time every class I'm touching it from another angle and explaining and reviewing and revealing a little bit more and more and more but like I I barely uh, scratch the peel, the covering of uh, of this thing. So uh, yes, because I talk slow. You you don't want to know what my wife thinks about how slow I'm talking. It's uh, my my wife is is asking me, but why are you but why are you talking so slow? <laughs> What can I do? Every word is hidden in the back of my head, and I, I need I need to throw buckets and 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 ropes to catch it, and to and to bring it from the depths of my mind. I don't know. It's it takes time. Rabbi Nachman of Breslev he said that um, tall people are are usually. Um, are usually let's call it slow I'm translating from Hebrew so let's call it slow and uh, he said why why they're slow because it takes a lot of time for the for their thoughts for their decisions to to travel to the hands to the legs that will uh, start taking uh, actions based on those thoughts and those decisions that took place in their mind so tall people are are usually slow so um the thing that i wanted to talk about like most of my um my classes in the last period of time is about the fact that the world is a creation and there are there are few dimensions there are few aspects that we should observe and look at it and it can do a lot of good i i suggest for you to try to observe to look at this aspect in your life i suggest for you to i will i will describe it a little bit and and to you you guys that are watching my classes so 
it's familiar you're gonna know what I'm talking about because I'm just like literally gonna talk about it again and try to sit with yourselves and and think about it think give give to yourself also like examples of those things that I'm talking about and and try to to look at it just to understand and and in it it's gonna give you a lot of of good it's gonna open your mind and your eyes to to climb to very high levels of of spirit so I'm talking about this concept of of um, Shalom Edward thank you for joining us I love you too you're an amazing person and thank you for being part of this amazing amazing family the Amuna family so the world is a creation and there are many aspects to look at it and to understand it so one is like that I'm saying that you're not alone as a person like go out a little bit from your bubble like a National Geographic movie that is traveling and, and walking between the grass and realizing there are squirrels over there there are porcupines there are like and and don't look at it from your point of view okay yeah, I'm sitting here on my swing on my porch and from here I'm looking oh yeah I see there are trees no go into the trees realize look at the tree itself like the tree I'll I'll try to make it larger like go deep into the tree and think about that tree and get into it like understand how how deep is that tree how many lives depend in that tree how many spirits how many souls are are connected uh, to that tree this tree is full of branches and those branches like so many animals are coming to rest on that tree between the branches and so many leaves like there's no number that you can't measure you can't count the number of leaves and every leaf there are so many animals that are being fed like tiny animals like even even like tiny um insects and 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 even germs uh, tiny cells and they're all like living inside that tree and and in billions and billions trillions like no no number to to the creations of of the creator and that's only one tree like and think about the whole forest and thousands of birds and 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 chipmunks and deers are coming and visiting and they're all going and walking and and think about all those things as as kind of 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 a movie of like it's a journey it's it's all one it's all something very very big like how many trees there are in this neighborhood only on that block only in this street like and 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 in different neighborhoods in more areas in more cities and more towns and and that's only one one area like it's 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 only like upstate new york and then travel more and go to the next areas to the next states and and understand how many houses and how many how many backyards and how many cars and how many limousines and let your mind fly a little bit look at those birds so and go and this is only this this one state and from that state move to the next and every state is different you know it's amazing we toured we crossed the US few times we we went through like more than 20 states for sure in all of our travels and the states are so different one from the other and that's the US and you have like different lands like you have Africa you have Asia you have you have you have so many places around the world and 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 in every place you have mi millions and hundreds of millions of of people and houses and everyone is a story and every day is so long for every individual and everyone he has so many furnitures and so many books and every book someone wrote that book and someone 
illustrate the the cover and uh, every, someone designed that cover and a, 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 a can of 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 um, of pickles is going through so much you have people that plant those seeds and 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 plowed the ground and and took them out people that were were watering the field and hoping for rain or whatever or and and all this industry and another industry and and people that are designing those packs and and people that are driving and shipping the the all the all the merchandise from one state to the other and selling it and some salesmen that are knocking on doors and selling those products to Walmart to to Target to Costco to all the grocery stores and and ships you know, crossing the sea in thousands and neighbors that are making noise while I'm trying to express my heart a little bit and everyone are cutting their lawns and their grass and working so hard and and above them in the sky billions of different kinds of birds that are flying and the clouds and things are so deep and aeroplanes and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people flying every day from one land to the other from one state to the other some for business and some for for trips and vacations and some just to visit their families and everyone is a story and this is only in the present time think about this journey that that person now that is flying in that uh, Boeing 7, uh, 707 um, he's the grandson of some person that moved to the States from Europe 60 years ago or 70 years ago and he has his own life story and his grandparents they moved to Europe from Asia and they've been to Asia for 200 years and from Asia for 200 years to 200 years earlier they lived in Spain and over there in Spain they lived for another 300 years because 500 years ago they've been deported from Spain and they couldn't stay there so they had to like crazy stories and who are those people 500 years ago they also came there because they were merchant they they had business they were selling fabrics and carpets and they were buying silk whatever they came in boats and they they found another family that were hosting them for Shabbat or whatever and they stayed over there and like and this is a person of one person with one family but you have billions of people of families of stories that all started from Adam and Eve all started in the beginning of creation all started in the time before the flood everything started like thousands of years ago when the Creator decided to bring the man down to earth and to put that holy soul into forms and figures and bodies when you realize that when you realize that you you can literally understand the greatness of creation and the last and final conclusion from all of that is that in reality all this process of those thousands of years are bringing us to the final redemption to that moment that all the circles that all the, the, the actions, that all the scenes, that all the people, that all the thoughts will come to completion, will finish their journeys and will get to that amazing moment that they will have, that we will have the merit to understand that it's all one, that it's all one plot, all one story all part of of the creation of God of what the Creator did of what that humanity and the world with all the creations all the animals all the flowers all the leaves think about flowers like flowers you like flowers like do you know how many flowers there are in the world 
Like, do you know what flower is all about? Like flowers, do you know what's flowers? And you know how many kinds of flowers? And you know how many are blooming in, in, in the year? Like, no number to them. And those are the flowers that are growing today. Do you know which flowers were coming out to the sun 2,000 years ago? Different kinds. Do you know what happened 4,000 years ago? Which amazing flowers were growing on earth 4,000 years ago and 5,000 years ago? Do you know the flowers that were growing and blooming in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve were walking barefoot over there on the grass? You can never imagine. But it all took place in reality. And that's part of our journey. And we are those ones that are finishing it, that are wrapping it, that are nailing it and bringing the complete redemption. It's us, you and me, all of you guys and me. We're bringing the redemption. We're doing it. We're just nailing it. We're doing it. We're in it to win it. We're succeeding in it. And we're going to deliver this amazing news to the whole wide world till the temple of Hashem that in that day will be called the house of prayer for all nations will be built and everyone from every nation will join us to call him in his name from all the houses, in all the villages, from all the towns, in all the lands, all the people, from all families on earth. We'll go out in that morning We'll see the sun rising and we'll start their journey walking toward the holy city of Jerusalem to visit the house of Hashem, the holy temple in Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. Everyone will agree with each other. Everyone will love each other. Everyone will support each other. Everyone will care about each other. Everyone will believe in the same God, the only one, the one and only, the Creator, Hashem Itbarach. Everyone and all the animals will be friends with each other and there will be no sorrow and no pain and no grief and no tension and no stress and no 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 more disappointments and no more struggles. Everything will be good. Everyone will be happy and healthy and wealthy. And everyone will say Shalom Alechem. Everyone will greet each other with honor, with respect. We'll hold hands together, some will drive, some will run, some will fly, some will, will flow. Everyone will walk, will dance, will rise, will, will run, will, will drive, will hitchhike, will sail, will ship, will, will do whatever. Everyone, the dolphins will swim to the Holy Land of Israel the deers on the sides of the mountains, all the rabbits, all the squirrels, all the porcupines, all the birds, the geese, the eagles, everyone, the doves, the pigeons, the sparrows, even the sparrows, the true sparrows will fly toward the holy city of Jerusalem to accept the face of God, the face of the Lord, the face of the Almighty and to call him in his name. And when we'll get there, they're gonna be an amazing feast. They're gonna be a souda. They're gonna be a meal. You don't need to carry food with you. They're gonna be food over there. We'll eat the best food over there. It's gonna be an amazing event. There's gonna be music in the streets. All the streets will be full with music and dancers all over the streets, on the sidewalks, on the roofs of the houses from the porches, people will wave, women will will praise, children will dance, everyone, everything will be perfect. And the pandas, <laughs> and the panda bears, also the penguins, let's, Hashem save the penguins. We need to save some penguins, that's our next mission. May the Creator bless the penguins. Thank you guys, Hashem will bless you. Just. Put this talk into your heart and start walking with it. Pray for that day. Pray for that simple day. And realize that the world is a creation. It's already happening in that way. It's, we don't need to do much. We just need to be pandas. We just need to be panda, 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 panda. <laughs> Thank you. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. 
for more, please visit emuna.com.